Okay, I want to show you guys how to do a tracker where you would digitally track an object in uh, in a frame that's moving so that you can blur it out like using the um, uh, the uh, sensor cursor. All right, so I'm going to use this, this shot here, which I filmed at um, behind the scene. Well, it was intended for behind the scenes of our recent film shoot for White Rose. And actually, I was capturing some duck footage that we needed for um, a cutaway or an insert shot. And so I was filming this. It was very funny because this uh, it's springtime. And as you can see, something's going on right there between the, the two ducks that I thought was really funny. So what I'm going to do is start a new project. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to just go straight to change the, you don't have to worry about the settings here, but I'm going to change it to 23.98 frames per second. I'm going to call it tracker uh, final, what, final cut pro. All right. It doesn't really matter what these are set for. I just go with the automatic settings, but I'm going to use that. All right. So I'm going to drag this in and you can select the entire thing and drag it in, pull it down like this, or what I'd recommend just to make it easy is hit E on the keyboard. And now I'm pressing shift Z. Uh, when I come down here, shift Z and it fills the screen. All right. This was a very funny moment. Um, we thought it was uh, hilarious, and I just happened to be filming while this was going on. All right, so in order to do this properly, you'll need to bring up your uh, your effects over here, your uh, presets and things. So uh, you just click on this little icon here, or you can hit Command-5 on the keyboard, and it brings it up. All right, so what you can do is uh, you're going to go into the search and just look for Sensor. Oh, and you got to be on All, and there's Sensor. All right, so what we're going to do here is track this duck, once it becomes inappropriate, as we want, if you want to call it inappropriate, I thought it was, obviously it's a duck, so how inappropriate can it be? So, jumps on here, and right there, I figure, let's cut it and put the sensor on there as a joke. Okay, so I'm going to the B tool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and expand this thing. You can see it a little better. I'm going to bring it all the way up. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to go ahead and close this area since we're not going to use it anymore by coming up here and clicking that. And I'm going to bring this down so it gives you a little more view of what's going on. Okay, see that? Now I can make this uh, bigger over here if I want to, but I don't need to because I already got the only tool I'm going to use here. All right, so here we go. And what we're going to do to make this work is cut here, and then I'm going to scroll uh, the video over. We're going to scroll over and look to where that's going to end. Okay, so we've got one issue here. I, I start laughing while I'm filming, and the they go out of the frame. So we need to cut here and then find the next time that it comes back in the frame, which is approximately right there, cut again. All right, now I'm going to expand it a bit by hitting Command Plus on the keyboard. And now I'm going to get out of the B cut tool and go to the A tool. All right, so now what I'm going to do is grab the sensor and you don't put it on the um, timeline. You actually put it over what you want censored directly on the screen here, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that's how it worked. I just actually learned how to use it today. So take the sensor and you place it on them. You see how it kind of figures out, okay, that's the object. Then you just drag it a bit. And you want to make it bigger. I think you have to drag here. Yeah, there you go. Make it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And drag the bottom down a little bit. Okay, and now I want to make it uh, more circular. You can just grab here and it goes into the circle mode. You know, and I'm, again, I'm just learning this myself. So I'm going to bring it over. And it's weird how it's only showing that part, so I'm gonna. I'm not sure why it's doing it that way. All right, so now that I've got it like that, you come up over here and you hit analyze. So it's gonna run through and analyze what it thinks should be uh, part of that. All right, as you can see, it's it's circled it pretty good, um, and it's done for that part. All right, now. Uh, what you can do is watch it and see if it's matched up well. And it's it's okay. Obviously, we need to um, move the sensor mark. But what we'll do is you can come up here to sensor mark and uh, increase the radius of it. You see? And now it's filled the entire part. Okay, so that's what it would play back as. All right, so now for this next part, you can do the same thing. Scroll over. And we're going to try to contain that again. So all you have to do is select that clip. Go to sensor and go over it again like this. And and it's easy for it to find the object because it's separated easily by the water. You know, it stands out from. So we're going to do that. I'm going to bend the corner here. 
and there we go that looks good and then I'm going to go ahead and do the analyze so it'll run through and track it as long as it's in the frame and eventually it gets out of the frame so you can see it's moving around I think I'm laughing pretty hard at this point because it's just funny I'm trying to get duck footage and I'll end up getting you know inappropriate duck footage okay so uh, and so there it goes it goes to there what I should have done is cut because it once the little incident is over the duck just um, uh, swims away so actually I need to cut it again so I'm gonna undo what I just did so no tracker uh, for that I'm gonna get rid of the tracker and I'm gonna cut I guess the tracker's still there hmm oh, I'll keep going back go back one more yeah it's gone okay so I just kept getting undo now what I need to do is cut where that duck is free of that all right so about no oh, darn it uh, about here cut it and then go back and do the same thing again. Hmm. I wonder if I just have a freeze or something. I mean, happened. We got some duck. Okay, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the sensor, put it over that again, do the same thing, drag and drag and make it a little bit bigger because it seems to be needing to be bigger. Pull the edge so it does a circle and then do the track again. Analyze. Boom. Machine learning. <laughs> okay, so now after I take off that, uh, I click off. I guess I don't click off here. All right, I need to get off of that. You just click on something else. All right, so now this is what it looks like. Okay, we're going to play it through. All right, now to start where the action starts. We got the right. porn going on. Okay, so I got to fix that. Obviously, it needs to be a, a larger spot there. So I go back, click on sensor. Uh, it should show it. It didn't. Um, mm, that's odd. Okay. Should, well, I guess I can't do it. Right. Go back. To, oh, the tracker. Here we go. Um, There we go. I had to go back to object track and then just make this bigger. All right. And again, I go up here. It's probably a good idea. Just go to the radius and it fills the whole thing much better. All right. And then we'll click off of that so we can see it and then play it again. We got some duck porn going on over here. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Those ducks All right. All right, so that's it, and that's all you have to do to make that track. Uh, make those adjustments if you need to, and uh, that's it. That's a very simple, straightforward, um, uh, you know, use of the sensor and tracking with Final Cut Pro. Good luck. Go Texans.